Our scripture readings today are from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, and 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 4 through 13. Come, listen for the word of God. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from the heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit enabled them. Hear these words of Paul as he writes his first letter to the church in Corinth. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but all of them, and in every one, it is the same God at work. Now to each one the manifestations of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom, to another a message of knowledge by the means of the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit, to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and still to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of one and the same Spirit, and he distributes them to each one, just as he determines. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one Spirit so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one Spirit to drink. The words of God shared with all of God's people. So Fridays are food shopping days at the Jad Lockie household. Isn't it remarkable how the things that were just so normal, easy and ordinary have become some tasks that we completely dread right now? Does that happen to you? As I found myself getting ready to go to Shaw's, I was filled with this overwhelming sense of fear. So there I was, I stepped out of my car, I put on my mask, I had my list in hand, and I said, I'm gonna do everything in my power to make this quick, easy, I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna get out with everything I need as fast as I can. And so that's what I did. I walked into that store and I was moving like a bull in a china closet. I was grabbing this and that and this and that, filling my cart, checking off the list, moving aisle by aisle aisle by aisle getting it done all of a sudden there i was in the frozen food section moving at lightning speed booking it down the aisle getting what i needed when out of the corner of my eye i saw this lady who had barricaded herself behind her shopping cart and bit by bit she was moving up inch by inch trying to get away i looked around i said what could be going on? Why is she acting so bizarrely? And all of a sudden I realized it was because of me. I had been moving at lightning speed one way, the wrong way, down that food store aisle. I was so embarrassed. I was shocked at my behavior. That's not how I act. That's not what I do. I follow the rules. I don't break them. I looked her in the eye and I said, I am so sorry. Obviously, I am going the wrong way here. I apologize for making you uncomfortable. And she looked back at me with this gentle expression on her face and she said, It's okay. I know how easy it is to lose your way right now. 
and she walked on by, and she left me in her wake of kindness and grace. I didn't realize just how much I needed her words. It's okay. I know how easy it is to lose your way right now. I was changed. All my fear, all my worry, all my anxiety, it dissipated. And my eyes were opened to realize that I was sharing this space with a whole world of people. It wasn't just me and my needs and my objective. We were here together. And together, we needed to make it through. Today we celebrate Pentecost. It's one of my absolute favorite holidays in the life of the church because it's the day we remember how God's spirit blew in like a wild wing, wind upon the disciples. Now you see, the disciples, they had locked themselves away in a room. Ever since Jesus' ascension, they didn't know what to do. Everything they counted on, every piece of order, every routine, every expression of comfort that they had made their own over the last three years was gone in an instant. And here they were, their future unclear, their way forward uncertain. And so they did the only thing they could think of. They retreated. They hid in their room, they put up their barriers, they locked their doors, they said, world, keep out. We're taking care of us. And then comes God. God's spirit moved through that place like fire and wind. And it said, beyond all comprehension and beyond all expectation, I'm giving to you a new way of knowing. And in a flash, they could speak languages they had never known. And for the first time, perhaps, in all of their life, they understood. And they knew what it was to be understood. It's easy right now to feel like I did in that food store so worried about me, so worried about my needs, so trapped in fear and worry and overwhelmed that we push out all of the world. But here's the promise of Pentecost. When we feel isolated, when we feel afraid, when we feel like there is nothing of comfort in this world, Pentecost comes along to say God's spirit remains. God is with us always. Even in this time of great uncertainty, as all the routines and all the rituals and all of the ways of being church that we hold so dear, that we rely upon, that we love, that we take grace and, and, and comfort in, even though all these things are not able to be, God is opening a new way. God is saying all those forms that you have placed value in, they may not happen right now, but the meaning of life lived in me has not changed one bit. The deep purpose of the church, friends, has not changed one bit. We are here to reach out in love. We are here to serve those in our midst who are alone and broken and wounded and afraid. We are here to bring comfort and light. We are here to feed the hungry whether they be hungry in body or hungry in soul. We are here to stand with those who have been cast aside, to lift up those who've been pushed down, to say to those whose voice has been stolen from them, we hear you. 
we understand you and we will speak alongside you. We are here to be the church, to hold out the hope, to proclaim the love, to be the light that shines even on the darkest of days. We are here to build a united community even when we need to be apart. Our familiar and comfortable ways of being may have shifted, but our deep purpose as God's children has not been changed. And here's the powerful truth. God is opening up new ways. God is throwing open windows and, and creeping open doors and saying, trust me. There are powerful ways to be. Powerful ways that will shape this world for tomorrow and the tomorrow after and the tomorrow after that. God is saying, lean in and flow with my spirit and you will find a new way. So I wanna give you a challenge, a Pentecost challenge. Before the sun sets on this day, I want you to pick up the phone and I want you to call a member of our worshiping community, our church community, our faith community, whom you don't know, or at least someone you don't know well. Maybe it's that member who sits on the far side of the church, or maybe it's that stranger who's only come in a few times, or who knows, maybe it's even a brand new pastor. But whoever it is, I want you to pick up the phone and call them and let them know that you are there and that you care and that together we'll find our way. Now, some are sitting there saying, huh, that's too hard. In fact, that's impossible for me to do. But trust me, you're not doing it alone. The Spirit of God is opening up a way. And maybe, just maybe, the words that you have to share are the exact words that person needs to hear. I love how Paul says to the Corinthians that we are one body, but many parts. Each of us has been given unique gifts different strengths, different talents, different abilities, different ways of expression. And our individual uniqueness is wonderful and it's needed and it's important. But it's when we share those gifts with the wider body that we become the people of God. I don't know what tomorrow holds for us. But this much I do know. We are a community abundant with gifts. We have blessings overflowing. We have opportunities that are opening before us and we have everything we need to step forward with God to shape our future. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to say, I am uncertain. But trust and believe that God's Spirit is blowing into your life today. And when we're open and when we follow, there's no telling just what we can do when God walks with us. So I look forward to hearing how that call went for you. I look forward to hearing what that connection meant. And I look forward to exploring and discovering and innovating right alongside you as we continue to be the people of God here in this place today, tomorrow, next year, and in all the years to come. So go in faith and go in love and go in hope and go and serve the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your being. 
Blessings upon you this day. Go in peace.